In this video, we'll explore creating a powerful landing page using MailerLite, complete with a lead magnet and automation to help convert those leads into paying customers. So let's get started. Howdy, my name's Larry, and this channel is about making email marketing easier for business owners like you. Okay, so let's start creating our landing page. From the MailerLite dashboard, we'll click on Create Site right here. We're gonna give our landing page a name. We'll call this Awesome Landing Page Example, and click on Save and Continue. The next option is a very vital one, and that is what subscriber groups do you want anyone who fills out the form for this lead magnet landing page combo? What group do you want them to go in? So I'm gonna click on add a new group. I'm gonna give it a group name of ebook download. I'm gonna click on create. Now that we've selected our subscriber group, we can then click on continue. Now because I'm on the free plan, I don't get all the bells and whistles of the templates of MailerLite has several templates that you can select from if you have a paid account. But for us, we're gonna start from scratch. So MailerLite's landing page starting from scratch gives you an empty canvas. Now, they make it super easy for you to create a landing page with their drag and drop block editor. So they start you off with elements where you can drag and drop heading and text and video and dividers, all this great stuff here. They also have pre-made sections for you. So you can simply hover over any of these pre-made sections and you can add in that particular section to your landing page. For instance, let's click on the three column content columns here, just drag that over. And now we've got our heading and we've got three columns, simple as that. If you wanna go back to elements, let's add in a image. We can add in an image inside these columns, so like that. And then we'll add in a sign up form down the bottom here. So we have a rough outline of how we want our structure of our landing page to go. Another component that is in there by default is this top navigation here. I don't think we're gonna need that. So we can go over to our settings here and turn off page navigation. And we will turn off the footer down here as well. And we'll just keep it that way. So now I'm gonna be taking content from my website and putting it in to the landing page and making it look a little bit more pleasing than it does right now of our shell of how we want to lay this out. So I'll come back to the video when all of that is set up. All right, so I've got this looking a little bit better. So I have the sign up form here, which we can get into in just a second, but I have the basic layout of what I want. In this big image section here, if we click on the image, we can go to select an image and it will take you to your file manager where you can then upload images. I already happen to have the two that I want. So this is for the logo, click on insert, and you can see it's gigantic. And we need to make this smaller. If I click on these little handles here, we can just drag that down to make it a little smaller. So that'll do just fine. And then for our other image here, we want to select it. We wanna click on select image, then we'll select our image for our ebook and insert that. That looks fine. I don't need to do anything with that. And so the next step here is to look at our signup form here. So if I click on inside the signup form, we have the only option by default is email. Well, we wanna change that because we wanna add in another field. So if we click on the settings here, we'll see here it says form and we see email there. And we can have this option here that says add field. So let's click on add field. We want to select name and name will be put down below email because that's the second field we entered, but we want that above. So we just drag that over there. And if we click on the pencil icon, we want to make this required and we do the automation, we can capture people's first name. So we click on close on that. Then we have other options here for our form we can do a privacy policy if we we'll put in a link we can do a confirmation checkbox to say hey if you want to just get the ebook that's fine but if you want to opt in and receive news and updates you can opt in there as well you can also do gdpr permissions marketing permissions you can have people select their own interest groups associated with this landing page the next option that we have for our form is the messaging so do we want to have a message that just says thank you for subscribing or do we want to redirect them to a thank you page or even redirect them to the download itself? Me personally, I like to send them off to an external URL and we can put our URL in here. So here is our redirect URL. We'll put that in there. 
and we can do an optional open in a new tab if we wanted to, but we'll keep it the way it is right now. So now that we have our form set, maybe when we wanna change this to first name and not just name, we can do that there. All right, our next step is to take a look at the preview of our landing page. Okay, that looks good. We have first name and email address and subscribe. We can go back in and change out that subscribe to say download now. And let's just check it on mobile. I want to make sure it looks good on both. And that looks good to me. So we'll go back to the landing page itself. And we will then go down here and change out this subscribe to how about subscribe and download now. And you can also change the colors. Over here it has a global styles for your landing page. So you can change it on the fly. You can change it to business casual, retro, and then you can know, go ahead and quit tweak individual colors if you wanted to do that along with topography, you know, heading fonts, paragraph fonts, and even your buttons. Let's do business casual. I like the blue. And so that is looking good. So for now, we can click on done editing. Our next step is the landing page settings. So we cannot change the URL of the beginning part of this because we do not have a paid plan. So we cannot customize the domain name, but we can customize the landing page URL part of it. So we can call this ebook for EP pros, something like that. You have also have the option of changing out the favicon. So if we wanted to change out the image, we could put in our logo, for instance. And you also have options to set SEO as well as social share options. You can put in a share title, social share description, and an image associated with this landing page. Those are all nice touches, as well as adding in your Google Analytics and Metapixel, if you have that as well, for tracking purposes and metrics. At the very bottom, we're just gonna click on Save and Continue. Other options that you have is to create a split test if you wanted to, and you also have the option to turn on or turn off double opt-in. We're gonna turn that off, and we're going to click on Publish. So now that our landing page is published, Let's go ahead and create an automation. So on the automation tab here for our awesome landing page example, we wanna create an automation for our site. And by default, it already knows what the trigger is because it knows that it's associated with this landing page. So when a subscriber completes a form, awesome landing page example, we wanna add the next step in our automation here. So we click on that plus button there and we have several things to choose from. We have email, delay, condition, action, and web hook. So we want to do email, right? Because the next step is for a person to receive our lead magnet. So we'll click on email, click in here and give the email a name. So we could say ebook download. And the subject line is welcome. Here's the fab ebook you requested. Who's it from? We've got that all set. We're gonna track opens with an invisible beacon. We can add in UTM tags if we wanted to. For now though, just click on design email. When we click on design email, we have two options, three if we had a paid plan, two options to choose from, the drag and drop editor or the rich text editor. We're gonna click on the drag and drop editor. So just like with the landing page, we can then customize our email that will be containing our lead magnet link for a person to download. We're gonna change out a few things here and then we'll come right back to the video. I put together a very simple welcome email. The big thing for the email is for the personalization here. So we have to have this name tag in here. And obviously you spend a little bit more time cultivating your welcome message. Since this is just a demo, I put in a couple of sentences here. And then I put in the URL to the PDF that will take people to the ebook. So with that, we can click on done editing. This will take us back to our workflow. The big component that I see a lot of businesses fail on is not adding in other follow-up emails. So we'll click on the plus again to add in another step. And we're gonna click on delay and we're gonna set our delay a couple of days, and then we're going to click on save, and the next step is to add in another email. So this is gonna be our sequence based on the person who downloaded the lead magnet. And then you wanna wait another day or so, and then send off another email. So we'll click on delay, and we'll click on wait, maybe another day, click on save, and then add in another email. So, so on and so forth. Follow up with several other emails and start that dialogue, start that relationship building 
because further down the line here, your goal is to turn them into a customer and you want to sell them maybe a course based on the lead magnet. Now, because I want to test this out, I'm going to remove those other things that I've just created. So to turn on your automation, all you need to do up here is just turn it on and our automation is now live and we can click on save and close so you can see here our automation is active let's go and test it all out we'll paste in our url to our landing page and down the bottom here it says first name we'll put in larry and we'll put in our email address and click on subscribe and download it should take us to our thank you page indeed it does so that is all working great now we'll just wait a few minutes and check out the email. So here's our email. Welcome. Here's the Fab ebook you requested. And indeed, it does have our first name in there. So that is good to see. And then if we click on the button here, it's going to open up in a new browser window to download the PDF. So there you have it. In just a few minutes, you can set up a landing page that not only attracts leads, but also nurtures them automatically with a lead magnet and follow up emails. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tips on growing your business with digital tools like Baylor Lite. I'll see you in the next video.